I get only one day in Japan usually for myself. It is one of my favorite days today. It's knife time. There's honestly no better place to get them than Osaka or like Sakai City, which is just south of Osaka City. And that's where all the knife makers are and that's where a couple of my favorite places are. I usually take one day to like take a picture, see what's in stock, and then let it settle a little, little bit. Have to talk to Adrian about it because these are- Don't make impulse buy. Yeah, these are large pur purchases. Not large, they're, you know, knives are expensive. Um, first stop, I'll show you. A must stop for me is always Jiko Cutlery here in Sakai City. They've got multiple locations around Japan, but for me this is the OG. The showroom is just beautiful. Actually having been to the other locations though, their showroom game is just top level. I love them because their knives are some of the most beautiful knives I've seen. From the handle to the blade, it's all amazing. The next spot I check out is Osaka Tower Knives, which you guessed it, is right next to the Osaka Tower or Tsutsunkaku Tower. The area itself is such a fun place to wander and eat yourself to death and most likely will be on your list to visit, so you might as well check out this store too. I recommend this place the most to friends and family because their customer service is probably the best out of all the shops that I've been. Their staff all speak wonderful English and they will help you through the overwhelming knife choosing process. You can even test out some of the knives on their vegetables. They offer sharpening classes so you'll learn how to keep your new knife sharp and well maintained. If you're into it, you can even get your knife engraved. Takata no Homono may or may not make it on your list of shops to visit if you aren't super into the knife world, but being a private chef, this shop has some of the best feeling knives I've ever held. It's an absolute laser, a lightsaber. It cuts so good, my jaw drops every time I use it. It's probably why they seem to always be out of stock everywhere in the US. Like not only are they lightweight and easily maneuverable, but the finish on some of these knives are mind blowing. I've been wanting one for years and I was so glad I was able to visit this shop and finally yeah. grab one. And lastly, if the schedule doesn't allow a trip to Sakai City to check out the many amazing knife shops, then the Dogyo Suji shopping street might be the place for you. It's the main kitchen shopping spot in Osaka and you can purchase any of your kitchen needs there. Some of the knife shops there are Takayuki, Sakai Ichimonji, Takauchi, Tokuzo, and others are all there in one place for you to check out some of these cool knives. I hope you found some of the knife buying tips a little helpful. When you come here to Osaka, I really do recommend checking out Sakai City if you can. Knives to me are so personal, right? It's, it's the tool that connects you to the food that you're cooking, basically. It, it should be made for you like instead of just buying it online and i know sometimes not pe many people have the opportunity to come to japan and just buy a knife um, and i've luckily been able to do that you know every time i've come to japan and i'm not trying to toot my own horn but like i don't i don't buy knives unless it's like in person so no joke that delivery man scared the crap out of me. But even if you can't come to Japan, I'm sure there's a local knife shop that you can visit and really just hold the knife, try the knife out, learn a little bit more about more of the, the metals that are used to make kitchen knives. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give a like, thumbs like it, you know, do all the things on the bottom. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.